And we're just sent straight back to town. No need to go back to the world map. Doggy was looking for you. He said he'd meet you at the lodge. But first of all, I'm gonna buy. A, I'm gonna upgrade some equipment. Now, do people have different things to say? Answer is no. What was the, what was the six thousand? Bandit armor, uh, not quite. Shield, okay, large shield was six thousand. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the armor first. That way I can buy some items. Perfect. I'll also check up on the item supply item shop. Yep, uh, nothing new there. Probably after I talk to Dogie, I'll have something different to say. So illusion mirror. Let's go. Let's go and buy one of each. Amulet. And let's see what those do. The illusion mirror, imbued with mysterious power that distorts the flow of time to immobilize fiends. Yep. Amulet. Take the power when release purges surrounding area fiends. Okay, so that's not quite what I thought it did. And while I'm here, the recharge ring power. Yeah, easy hundred gold. If I had a ring crystal, I could it'd make a serum to recharge your ring power. So that's a separate item. It exists, but it wasn't what I thought it was. Anywho, let's uh, go ahead and talk to Bob's mother. Is that my son's pendant? I see. You're the person who rescued the miners. In that case, take this ring with you. I don't want to see another tragedy like what happened to Bob. They'll receive the shield ring. It basically doubles your defense. Don't get yourself killed out there, you hear? Live the long life that my son couldn't. So let's basically double check that. Yep. Double defense of the wearer. Basically, power ring is good enough for now. Oh, uh, just don't equip it by accident. <laughs> I, I will get used to this menu by the time we're done with the game. Actually, the question is, is anyone home here? Nope. At all, perfect timing. I have a favor to ask. Elena, could you tell Adam what you just told me? It feels a bit strange to tell you this since I just met you today. It's about my brother, Chester. He left our house six months ago. He may he'd be working for McGuire, Lord of Valestine Castle. In any case, none of the rumors about him are especially flattering. I heard he was spotted at the Ilsburn ruins, so I went to see for myself. When I arrived, there were monsters prowling about, but I found my brother's pendant on the ground. I'm sure he comes and goes from the ruins. I don't know if this is related, but I heard the Father Pierre went there yesterday and hasn't returned yet. At all, could you go to the Ilsburn ruins and find him for us? I can't ignore this since it involves my hometown. If you see Chester there, tell him that Elena's worried about him. I'm sorry to impose on you like this. I haven't introduced myself, have I? My name is Elaine Stoddart. Well, uh, that's just a plot flag indication. Oh, anyone have to say anything new on the way out? Nope. Nothing new. So, what I'm going to recommend is once I get to the next dungeon, I'm going to grind up for a large shield before moving on. And we'll get to enjoy the music for a little bit, too. Save. And make sure you have make sure you have all the items you can carry before going in there too. Oh, it'll been ruined. Nice uh, nice to know we're going next to an active volcano. And these guys right here. At least in the PC engine version, they spawn endlessly. They are the best way to get money. For pretty much everything you'll need. I do believe I can find them find more of another type of enemy in in another room. It's, a, it's an outdoor location where that's definitely the case. But in the meantime, this is one of my favorite tracks. We'll just enjoy listening to this for a bit.
Yeah, these eagles spawn endlessly. If you can find a good spot to hit them, they are the best money grind in the early game. Just hitting them is the tricky part. Unfortunately, they just don't want to... Do not want to approach me. But yeah, about nine, uh, about 85 gold per kill. Not bad. If you can find a good spot where they just uh, continuously land on you. You can get the banded mail and the best equipment you can buy in the shop before you're done in here. But since I just want the large shield, oh, I'll just uh, run into my death here. Oh, level up. But like I said, buy everything as soon as you can afford it. And in this case, it's a definitely a good idea to do so, because this dungeon is uh, two parts. You cannot return to town after you do the first first section. Oh, just a quick retreat. And even if you don't complete an objective, you just go straight back to Redmond, which is also nice. Oh, we want our shield. And to double check the, the price of stuff, so the broadsword, 8,000, that will very likely be our next purchase. Banded armor, 12,000. And the banded shield, so I basically need 30,000 for everything. At the very least, try to afford the, try to be able to afford the broadsword by the time you get back from the Illsburn Ruins. And no, I did not forget to equip my new shield. It, 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 as a matter of fact, yeah, the large shield bypasses the next one. But in a lot of cases, I do believe the banded stuff is the second best, maybe the absolute best. I'll be able to double check once we get back that far. And one more, one more quick save. Let's go! And of course, back to this excellent music. I'm gonna just do everything I was doing before, kill everything on the way through. That just stuck under these fireballs. These guys are not a problem. Look up. Geez, I've got a thousand gold. I could grind it for that sword and be, just go through this dungeon very, very easily. But no, no, won't quite do that. Basically, if you get equipment ahead of time, that makes uh, over half the game a cakewalk. I'm trying not... I, I am aiming to break the games whenever I can, but I don't want to make it too easy. When everything on screen will just be grinding anyway, as a result of that. Nope, don't need to do it that way. Uh, more of these uh, whipping lizards, more eagles. Oh, get back here. You guys are good for money. I'll make our way further into the ruins. Nice slope area here. Yep. Every time I stab those guys, it's like, my toe, my toe. Wait, wrong game. Up, oh, new enemies here. Uh, crawl slowly, stab him to death. Yeah, those uh, fly fire type enemies on the floor, they're not hurting me. Oh, level up. Yeah, these guys are just... Actually, here's the, here's the thing. Can I go right here? Oh. Yeah, those, fly those fireballs uh, jump out after you. Yep, so I want to double check, make sure we don't miss a thing. Up. 
Well, in this case, uh, I went the right way. The voice of the two men can be heard at the altar below. Father Pierre, what are you doing here? I just got lost. You're an awful liar. You came here to look for the statue, isn't that right? Oh, looks like that's a trespasser above us. It's a swordsman I saw at the mine. I warn you not to turn your face around me again. You're coming with us. Scorching hot lava runs through the pit beneath us. No one has ever returned from it alive. You must be Chester. How do you know my name? Elena's worried about you. She was talking about how you weren't this kind of person before. Ah, so you made Elena. That explains it. But this is my own life. What I do with it is no concern of yours or hers. Farewell, swordsman. And we are in control, so basically we need to find our way out of here. And if you want to do a secondary save, not a bad idea. So basically, you need to go one way, then the other. But uh, basically, stab everything as usual. If you don't have uh, your upgraded equipment or an herb in here, well, I don't know what to tell you because this place is not kidding around. Despite the awesome music. I, I will say this, uh, this game and its remake have my favorite OST in the franchise. Found some herbs by the rock. So, yep, if you don't have any herbs, the game's nice enough to give you some. I don't know if it's infinite or whatever, but, yeah, this place... Uh, could be a lot worse. But with those teleporting uh, Firehawks, I feel like I'm more of a shooting game. Fortunately, I'm not taking, like, more than one HP of damage. That's... That's been the nice thing about the rebalance patch so far. In the in the original game, if you're low level, you'll die in like a couple hits. Oh, ouch. Run, 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 run! <laughs> Get those flames from level three of Life Force! Speaking of shooting games. And I do believe I'm headed the right way. Yep, boss time. Oh, powering out of it, you good enough for us here? And where are you, boss? Oh, Flame Dragon. Yep, uh, get on that little, get on that little rock. And we can outlast him. Bye-bye. Still love that sound. Go oh, obtain the Fireworms Amulet. That will let us get out of here. Let's take a look at what that does on the equipment screen. A statue found in the den of the Fire Dragon in the Zone of Lava. It is said that one who possesses it can control fierce fires. Now we just need to possess it, we don't need to equip it. We just killed the boss. Do a safety save. And let's get out of here. So basically, yeah. Get, getting back through this room, just jump. You're, you're not going to get through here unscathed. The flames, the flames just continually catch up to you. This is the worst room in the game, probably. Except for any room that will get you killed instantly. Yep. Fortunately, we didn't take too much damage. Now, I'm, I am trying to get 8,000 gold before we get out of here. So I can buy that broadsword. Uh, the rest of the armor will just have to wait. Nothing but flames, just regular enemy. No regular enemies, no, just flames, yeah. So the question is... Yeah, so... that. Looks like that is indeed... Alright, alright, I already have that equipped. Ah. There we go. Might as well take the heal. Of course, uh, pick up the herb... ...after using <laughs> what we have. There we go. Even give us his fanfare, how nice of it.
Now, precision jumping is probably this game's weak point. Adol has a slight delay in his jumps. Fortunately, there aren't a whole lot of obstacles you have to worry about in this version. In the remake, they add a lot of platforming puzzles. Yeah, basically, Adol needs about a quarter of a second before actually jumping. Anywho, since we got that, Adol holds up the firearms amulet and the lava flow subsides. Yeah, basically, if you try to jump in there first, you're dead. And I'm close to that uh, broadsword, so let's just keep, keep slashing. Yep, I saw you there. Don't try to get away from me. I was about to say, I was doing a pretty good job dodging those fireballs until that one got me. <laughs> No more enemies over here? Come on, I, I can't I can't hack and slash fireballs. And we're slowly making our way up out of, back out of the lava zone. Well, no man has ever uh, escaped from there, but at the same time, someone built stairs for you. Oh, I'm glad you're safe. Why are you here? This place is dangerous. Someone's coming. Hide. What was that sound? What's wrong, Chester? I thought I heard something from over here. I must have imagined it. By the way, what's become of Pierre? He seems to know of our plan. I'll have him locked in the dungeon of Valentine Castle. Be sure to make him tell us where the statue is. If he won't talk, force it out of him at the castle. Sir Gar... Sir Garland! The fire dragon has been slain! Um... Well, it, I don't automatically mess. What? I'll be right there. Chester, are you not capable of handling a single boy? I'm sorry, sir. They're gone! What is this place? It gives me the creeps! Oh, what's that over there? It's like a switch, I'll go and see. What is this? It looks like a switch! Adol places his hand on the shining stone. It's a hidden door! The door probably leads to the statue. I heard about it from my brother a long time ago. He also said that the statue of the Ilroy's ruins is guarded by a fearsome beast. Elena, you should go back to town. Why? I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place. I can't let you be the only one to face any danger. If anything happens, I may not be able to protect you. Please go back to town. Okay, if you insist, I'll return home. Please be careful, Adol. And speaking of fearsome beasts, she's not kidding. We got a we got us a boss coming up. But another another weird thing about this uh, version of the game is, yeah, Adol talked. He's normally a silent protagonist. This game is an exception. Alright. Let us re-equip our power ring. If we need 50 of them to turn into Super Sonic, we're playing the wrong game. Yep, uh, we can outlast him. He just needs to come into range. We got plenty of ring power. Yeah, this one this one's not too bad. Ow.
Yeah, this one's lasting a lot longer than the previous bosses, but at the same time, I'll just be methodical. Got plenty of ring power. Take a couple hits. And a couple more good hits. You're dead. You're done! Come on. Bye bye. Dead right in the crotch. And that's enough gold for our sword. Oh, obtain the Moonstar statue. If we get the Home Star statue, I'm leaving. And we can just uh, carve our way out of here pretty easily. Nothing else we can do in this room. That convenient boulder's there. I see you've returned alive from the lava pits. It seems that I've underestimated you. The circumstances now dictate that you and I must do battle. Chester, stop! Elena, what are you doing here? It was me that asked Adol to put an end to your foolishness. Chester, please stop this. What good will come of fighting Adol? Leave the statue alone. What on earth do you even want it for? I must have my revenge. Don't you remember what happened on that day? Please stay out of this, Adol. I don't want to fight you. That I don't want to fight you is one of the most infamous lines in the PC Engine version. <laughs> I will never forget it. Let's go back to town. But I'm not done exploring! I have a few things to care of before returning home. Please forgive my brother. Now, actually, there's nothing else we can get in there. Because, basically, the lower the lower route where Chester was earlier, at least in the lava zone, and that upper bridge led to where we came out of. Hey, Adol! I'm heading out for a while. Where are you going? I'm going to visit my old teacher who lives in the Elder Mountains. I'll be gone for some time, so don't worry about me. Oh, by the way, Mayor Edgar wanted to speak to you. This house is next door to the lodge. Well, thankfully, we did make it back down to... Back to town in one piece. If you want to go back and grind for money for equipment, not a bad place to do so, but we'll be able to do so in the next area. Let's go ahead and upgrade that sword. So, the description of that the, for the sword forged from pure iron. Strength and experience are required to handle it well. Now, I honestly don't remember if we get all 12 of the items on the top top right side, but we'll see. Now, do you guys have anything new to say? Nope! And here I, here I thought the Welcome to Corneria trope wasn't in effect. But they, they, they have different things to say in the remake. You come at a good time, Adol. Look at this! Someone ransacked my home when I was gone! I doubt this is the work of a burglar. It was most likely someone from Valestine Castle. They must be looking for the statue you found at the mine. It probably has some connection to the recent outbreak of monsters. I'd rest easier with a fine swordsman like you on our side. At all, will you lend us your aid? No! Would you please reconsider? You're the town's only hope! I'd rest easier with a fine... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. And thank you. In that case, I have a favor to ask. Remember the locked door in the mine? Supposedly the monsters behind it are guarding another statue. Some of the miners are on their way there now. I'd like you to aid them in the search for the statue. Please take this with you. It will protect you. Oh, the timer ring! This either slows enemies down or freezes them entirely. Oh, let's double check that. So, the ring... Affects the flow of time around his wares, having the speed of monsters. Oh, having the speed of monsters. Now, the question is... Did I miss the shield in the ruins? That is actually a good question. If I if I did, I'll have, I'll have to go back and check for it really quick. A quick save. Let's go. Press back to Chigri Query. Hop, skip, and jump. Now this next area is interesting. I would always race myself when playing through this version as a kid. To get to the end before the uh, be the deep bells in the music started playing, because admittedly they are very atmospheric. 
And I'm killing these guys more for ring points and experience, because we're not gonna get we're not gonna get any experience from them anymore. Now, at least not uh, enough to really matter. In a lot of in a lot of ease games, you just stop getting experience from low-level enemies. But yep, that door we couldn't get through last time. It is now open. Mayor Rad asked me to come here. Is everyone already inside? Yes, and hurry! There are monsters inside, so be careful! And as we enter the deeper parts of the mine, we get uh, new music. I really like this one. Very, very atmospheric. Kind of really, really gives a sense of urgency. And just uh, hack the amoebas. So how much money am I getting from these guys in one go here? Sixty. I may grind up for money for the abandoned mail though. Ouch! Uh, chest. There we go. The radiant crystals. Now we can create an item that it lets us uh, recharge our ring in the field. Now, I obviously missed a set of stairs somewhere. Actually, not quite a set of stairs. Yeah, we're all under here. Actually, yeah, someone... Oh, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, this is a difficulty spike is starting to hit. Fortunately, they go down one slash from a jump. Just uh, play it careful, we'll, we'll be okay. Oh, I wanted to kill it! And th there's that uh, there's that bell I was talking about. This just doesn't seem to be locked. For some reason, none of us can open it. Especially when Adult 10 begins to glow and the load of the treasure chest opens. Obtain the mission tablet. That chest is open on its own? I have a bad feeling about this. Listen, what's that sound? It's a Genesis sound check, if that's what it is. Somebody help us! It's the curse! The legendary curse has returned! Legendary curse? What are you referring to? Let me see the stone tablet you found that box. Engraved in the tablet is a picture of a man battling an enormous fiend. In his left hand is a statue exactly like the one Adol has. There's a legend around these parts. A long time ago, this land was ruled by a fiend named Galbalan. All who dared to oppose him were killed. This hellish era ended when one man came forth to stand against Galbalan's rule. After a fierce battle, the man used the statue to seal Galbalan away. And my voice completely changed from the start of this scene. Seems the age of Galbalan isn't over yet. I never dreamed that he would return during my lifetime. And we're back in control. So let's uh, do a safety save. And just uh, see where see which ways we can go here. I want to gain a level before fighting the boss, too. Oh. And the plate mail! Ooh, baby! That will be a very nice defense boost. Oh, mission tablet. An ancient tablet depicting the battle between Goblin and the Hero of Legend. Actually, what do I need to level up? 30k. Uh, uh, almost there. Up. Uh, ow. Ow, ow. At least I'm taking less damage now. I want to see if there's anything over here. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Wow. Yeah, jumping mechanics. Not good. 
Wow, Adol, jump! You gotta jump, Adol! And, of course... Oh, nothing over here. Oh, well. Yeah, I still want to gain a level before moving for the next boss. Hey, more jumping. <laughs> oh, hey! Don't push me back out of the screen. Uh, this is the boss fight, so yeah, let's gain that level really quick. As a matter of fact, this oh, we'll put this to our advantage here. So, looking at about 400 for each run of the room here. Let's, let's give it a let's give it a shot because worst that can happen is I die. Oh, I can't save in here. Yeah, here's here's the here's the kind of battle I'm used to in early in outside of the rebalance version. I probably have to heal, but uh, up oh, treating. Ow! Yeah, if you get less to, less than ten HP, heal up. But I should be okay. Come on, add a couple, couple more good hits. Now you get back here! There we go! That should give us our level up. We're very close to it. If anything, the full heal is very appreciated. Obtain the Light Statue! And, well, we're done here. Didn't, didn't quite level up, but we'll hit on the way out. And, of course, I want to explore some parts I've been... Those plants still really hurt, though. And the other thing is, yeah, this is a good time... Uh, grind up for the next uh, armor or shield, all, in, in all fairness. So I'm just gonna kill everything on the way out, and we should hit should hit the mountain I need by the time we're done. Ah! Here we go again! <laughs> and I'm gonna explore every nook and cranny on the way back out too. So a minimum of 10,000, 12,000 by the time I'm out. Oh, this is the one way we... Oh, well, nothing here, so... Yeah, very linear here, then. There's our level up. I don't need another 2,000. Ah, uh, see, what, what's going to be the best room to grind the money in? I 
I get two enemies in here. Yeah, I think that room with the slope may be the best one. It's, uh, enemies are just more concentrated together. And we're, yeah, we're at the exit. So yeah, let's uh, just get the money really quick and we'll be head back out. I don't think I'll level up before then though. I'm not too worried about my health this time. Yeah, if the enemies were grouped closer together, this would be a little better. As a matter of fact, that might be the best way to... Killing these three may be a good way to go, but we're getting there. But the other thing is, I also want to be able to afford uh, one of those ring serums. All right, another 500, so a couple more rounds of this and I can just uh, get some on the way out. That ought, to, that ought to finish covering it. Yeah, in fact, I'm probably gonna turn around right now. But then again, a little extra money for a serum will, hurt, will help too. Jumping, making our way out of a deep mine full of monsters. No, no cave-in problems here. Taking damage from plants that want to lick me. Oh, let's press up close to the door. You go go through. I'm glad to see you're safe, Fat. I was worried about you. Let's get out of here. Now hurry and take that statue to the mayor's house. Uh, isn't the people who are after the statue waiting in ambush at the mayor's house or something like that? Oh well. 